this video, I will be comparing Hammer Fire CZ pistol trigger systems. This will not include the CZ P10 Striker Fired series. I have a couple of videos on my P10F for more information on the CZ Striker Fired platform if you're interested. There are multiple versions of trigger systems offered in Hammer Fired CZ pistols. I will go over their pros and cons and make some relative comparisons between the systems. When I first started getting into CZ firearms, all the trigger options were a bit confusing, so I hope I can help some people in choosing what hammer-fired CZ pistol is right for them. Now, there are essentially two trigger systems uh, for the double single action hammer-fired CZ pistols with different variations within those two systems. So um, the conventional trigger system can be offered with a thumb safety or a decocker. Uh, thumb safety versions can also be converted or offered in single action only. The Omega trigger system in this guy and this guy are convertible between thumb safety or decocker. This one's set up with a thumb safety. This one's set up with a decocker. They also obviously come in polymer frame and alloy or metal frame variants. Um, so I have worked with all these trigger systems. These are the four CZ pistols I own that are examples of all these trigger systems. I've shot them a lot. I have extensive experience working on all these trigger systems and modifying them for higher performance. I will give my recommendations of what trigger system will be best. Now, keep in mind, a lot of this information is just based on my personal experience with these firearms and some of these comparisons will be largely subjective. Uh, your mileage may vary based on your preferences and experience. Uh, before jumping into details on these individual trigger systems, I want to say that all these trigger systems are reliable and well proven. Of course, the conventional trigger system has been around the longest and is the most proven. The Omega trigger system is the newest and least proven, and I am not sure if it's been used in law enforcement or military applications, whereas the conventional trigger system has been well proven through LE and military adoption for decades. Uh, I have had one issue with my PO9 Omega, and um, I recently put out a video on it. It was a pretty simple issue and pretty easy fix. I will link to that video in the description. Other than that, all of these pistols have been absolutely reliable for me. Let's jump into this with the Omega trigger system. So this trigger system is currently offered in the PO7, PO9, 75B Omega and the P01 Omega. Uh, my first CZ was this, the 75B Omega. It's been a great gun. Um, all of these Omega guns have firing pin safety blocks and they are all convertible between thumb safety and decockered levers. This one is set up with a thumb safety and this one is set up with a decocker. The pros of the Omega trigger system are that it is easy to work on, about as easy as the conventional trigger system with the firing pin safety blocks. Uh, it's versatile due to being convertible between thumb safety and decocker. And all these guns come with ambidextrous uh, thumb safety levers or, um, well, and decocker levers. So each gun, when you buy it, will come with a set of ambidextrous decocker levers and a set of ambidextrous safety levers, and you can put whichever one you want in. Personally, I like the profile and slightly uh, flatter and wider Omega trigger that comes in these guns. Um, I also like the decocker lever profile and the feel of it better than the conventional trigger system decocker guns. I like how it's further forward and it pivots at the back rather than pivoting it at the front and being further back. Again, that's just personal preference. Um, this is also the only trigger system available in the polymer frame double single action guns. So the biggest con of this trigger system is the trigger quality. Uh, it will have the worst trigger action out of the box or modified of any of the CZ hammer fired guns. Due to the convertibility, they must open up the tolerances um, and provide more contact between the sear and the hammer than any uh, of the other trigger systems. So this leads to a lot of creep in the break of the trigger and generally looser fitting and uh, looser tolerances on the guns. Uh, even the fully upgraded trigger um, on my Omega pistols, this one's the best. It's still worse than my Shadow 2 trigger was out of the box. Um, these cannot be converted to single action only, as far as I know. Um, 
and there's generally less aftermarket support and options for um, upgrading and customizing these, although there's still a lot you can do to them. Uh, and generally the trigger in the metal frame CZ uh, Omega trigger systems is going to be better than the trigger in the polymer frame variants. Why would you buy an Omega trigger system pistol? Uh, first, if you want the polymer frame double single action CZ pistol, it's your only option. Um, I feel it's a great place to start for your first double single action pistol or first hammer fire CZ pistol. If you want to get into some gunsmithing or tinkering on double single action pistols, these are also good starting points as they're pretty easy to work on. Um, if you're new to double single action pistols and you don't know whether or not you want a thumb safety or a decocker, these are awesome because you can try both. If you want a decent double single action trigger out of the box and a pretty good one, uh, if you do some work to it, but you're not concerned about the highest trigger performance you can get, the Omega series uh, really fits the bill for that. Um, also, if you want a completely ambidextrous, either thumb safety or decocker right out of the box, you're good to go with these. So these might really appeal to uh, left-handed shooters as well. The conventional trigger system with the decocker is offered in the PO1, the 75BD, the SPO1 Tactical, and the 75D PCR. If it has a D in the name, it's a conventional trigger system with a decocker only. All of these have firing pin safety blocks. Only the SPO1 Tactical comes with ambi decocker levers. All of the rest of them only come with the left side decocker lever for right-handed shooters just like this guy. You can see there's no decocker lever on this side. I'm also not aware of an aftermarket option to add an ambi decocker lever to this. So um, the pros of the conventional system configured in the decocker is that uh, you will get a way better trigger than an Omega system configured as a decocker. And there's more aftermarket support for these and more options for customization than the Omega models. So the biggest con of this trigger system is that it is the most difficult to work on. Uh, reassembling the decocker sear cage is a real bear. I also, again, subjective here, but I don't like this decocker lever profile, location or action, um, or how it pivots at the front and is more rearward. Um, I don't like that nearly as much as the Omega decocker levers. Um, they're not convertible to single action only, and they aren't convertible to a thumb safety, so you're stuck with a decocker. Why would you buy the conventional trigger system with a decocker? The biggest reason is that you know you want a decocker and you want the best trigger pull possible with a decocker. And so that's why I bought this and not the PO1 Omega. I also feel these are the best option for duty, concealed carry, and self-defense. In my opinion, any double single action pistol used in a defensive application should have a decocker and no thumb safety. The decocker is the safest way to lower the hammer on a loaded chamber. And you can also cover the hammer with your thumb while you're reholstering to prevent the trigger from being snagged and pulled on clothing or the holster. There is no safety to disengage when drawing as the long uh, double action trigger pull is your safety. These also all have firing pin safety blocks, which is a must for duty carry use, uh, as I believe it's the best way to make the pistol drop safe. The conventional trigger system with a thumb safety is the original CZ-75 trigger system. This trigger system is in the following current production guns. The Shadow 2, Tactical Sports Series, 75B, the 75 Compact, and the SPO1, the non-tactical version. Uh, keep in mind the Shadow 2 and the Tactical Sport do not have firing pin safety blocks. They are still drop safe if you retain the factory firing pin and spring, but a big part of upgrading these pistols for higher performance is an extended firing pin and reduced power firing pin spring to accommodate reduced power main springs to lower your trigger pull weight. This will render them no longer drop safe. I will link to a short video the Humble Marksman put out on this. The thumb safeties may or may not be ambi out of the box. Of course, there's tons of options to change the thumb safeties however you want on these. I would not recommend carrying the thumb safety versions cocked and locked like a 1911 because they lack grip safeties. Uh, they would be fine for hammer down carry um, and a double action first trigger pull, but you have to 
lower the hammer manually on a live round. Not a huge deal, but the decocker is a safer way to do that. The pros of the conventional trigger system are that you can get the best possible trigger pull out of these. They can be easily converted to single action only, like I've done to this one, which will give you an even better single action trigger. Um, some of the guns come from the factory single action only, like the Shadow 2 single action only, or the uh, Tactical Sport line. There is a ton of aftermarket support for these, the most of any CZ trigger system. Um, they're simple to work on, the conventional trigger system without the firing pin safety block like this gun. Um, and like the Tactical Sport, uh, they're easier to work on than the Omegas and with the firing pin safety block, like the 75B, the 75 Compact, and the SP01, they're going to be about equal to the Omega in terms of ease of tinkering with them. Uh, the cons are that you're stuck with a thumb safety. It cannot be converted to a decocker. Uh, in my experience, the thumb safety action is a little mushy and vague too. That can be fixed, which I have done to this. Now it's very positive and crispy. Uh, the thumb safety uh, is also low profile and a bit hard to actuate out of the box. It looks like this, but I, again, have an aftermarket one on here that has a nice big ledge on it. Why would you buy a conventional trigger system with a thumb safety in a CZ pistol? And the main reason is if you want the best possible trigger, whether you leave it stock or upgrade it, um, and these guns are best suited for competition and high performance use. So if you plan on using the gun for competition or strictly range use, I would highly recommend the conventional trigger system with the thumb safeties. So I think that about covers it. Uh, if I forgot anything or you got more information on these that I don't, please leave it in a comment down below. I hope this video was helpful. I know all of the options were a bit intimidating to me when I purchased my first hammer fired CZ, this guy right here. Uh, I'm happy to answer any questions you may have to the best of my ability. So please leave a comment. I also hope others will chime in with their experience and ideas regarding these trigger systems in the comments so we can provide even more information to someone looking to pick up a new CZ pistol. Uh, remember to check the description for a lot more information on these guns in particular builds, and thanks for watching.